Oh, time for another top turn. Oh, these are hard work. Oh. Okay, these suckers like a nice background, so let's give them what they want. Let's see what the options are. Beaches. Let's whiz through these. Mm, too tropical. Nah, too sunny. Oh. Mm, nah, too bummy. Ah, now we're talking. Let's go with the gloomy, cloudy Welsh beach. Okay, welcome to this definitely not green screen location. I'm on a beach. The sun isn't exactly shining, but it has been raining for the last two days. I've been here in Wales, so I've had a break in weather. I'm going for it. Hey, you know, there's only, uh, there's only so much luck you can have. We've got some aquatic smells here. It's marine. We've got boats in the background. We've got the ocean. It'll do. Anyway, time for a summer top 10. So the first one I'm going to talk about is from the house of Paco Rabanne. This made my list last year. It could be the ultimate designer aquatic marine fragrance. I am talking about Invictus Aqua. This is the 2016 version. The 2018 version is still really nice. I don't think you'd be disappointed. I don't like it quite as much as this. It loses a little bit of the edge that this one has, and this one also has a better performance for me as well. So in this, we have grapefruit, yuzu, pink pepper, and I think it's that combination of grapefruit and yuzu which gives us this lovely marine, salty type of chord. It's based on that bubblegummy style Invictus DNA, although it's definitely not as sweet as the original Invictus. So if you find the original a little bit juvenile, a little bit too sweet, this one could work for you. It's bright, it's summery, it's got great performance. Now, I know I'm talking about a fragrance that is discontinued. You could still find this. I do still see Invictus Aqua 2016 selling on Facebook groups, especially sometimes on eBay. So you can still pick it up. If you can't find it, then another great option. I've just been trying out a fragrance from Parfums Vintage. It's called Aqua Intense. I believe it's based on this 2016 version of Invictus Aqua. I've tested them side by side, and to be honest, I can't really tell much of a difference. So if you're thinking you might like the DNA of this one and you can't find the Paco Rabanne, then definitely check out the Parfums Vintage version. It's very good. Number nine is from the Tom Ford Private Blend. This is a citrus aromatic. You will see this on a lot of summer lists. Ever since its release, it's been popular for summer, so maybe a little bit predictable that I'm including it, but I really enjoy it. I wear this every summer without fail. I'm talking about Neroli Portofino. This one is citruses and white florals, most prominently the neroli, which is the white floral providing this flowery, soapy, clean character. Citruses are really refreshing. I don't really get much more to it than that. It's not a very complex fragrance, but very enjoyable to wear. It gets a bit of a bad reputation for its performance, but I wore this a couple of days ago. I wore it for work, so I was in work for seven or eight hours and it just lasted. I was really surprised. I was expecting it to fizzle out after four or five hours, but I did spray on clothes as well, and I got a reasonable performance off this. So if you do spray it on clothes, it is gonna improve that performance. If you think this is too expensive, and if you've heard that there are clones out there that do a better job in terms of the performance, and I think they do exist, then by all means, try those. Because it's a simple fragrance, it's pretty easy to clone, so there are a lot of good clones out there. I have the Perfume Parlor one, which uh, I would say is excellent. There's no not a lot of difference between them so if you're interested in trying this one you could try the perfume parlor one and it will give you a good idea of what this one smells like the next one is from aqua de palma it's part of their blue mediterraneo line which are their lovely summer fragrances last year number one on my summer list was fico di amalfi lovely fragrance for the summer i love this one just as much it is Myrto de panarea In this, we've got some myrtle, there's some citruses, there's basil, so it's got more of a culinary, aromatic feel. It's definitely not as sweet as Fico di Amalfi. Feels a little bit more grown up to me than Fico. Fico is fruitier and sweeter and a little bit more playful. This is a bit more mature, a bit more refined, I'd say a little bit more sophisticated and elegant. This is just beautiful to wear 
in the summer. I find it really refreshing actually because there's also a juniper note in here so it does give you a bit of a gin and tonic vibe. So when you spray this, think of sipping a gin and tonic in a herb garden somewhere on the Mediterranean coastline and that'll give you a good idea about what this one smells like. I'm going to a wedding in Portugal later in the year and I'm seriously considering wearing this one for the wedding. I think it'll just work perfectly. On to the next one, and this is a classic from Chanel. It's a woody aromatic. It's a signature masculine summery blue scent. There's the clue. I'm talking about Bleu de Chanel. This is the Eau de Parfum version, which I just think works really well. It does for me anyway. We've got citruses, spices, woods, beautiful notes of incense in here as well. It's lively, it's smooth, it's sensual, it's masculine. It basically ticks all the boxes. I reviewed this last summer and I slightly criticised it for not being a mind-blowing scent, for it not being the most exciting of scents, for it having a slightly generic shower gel type of accord. And I still think that, but the more I've worn this, the more I've begun to enjoy it. And I think I've also created a really nice memory of some of the traveling I did last summer. I bought this at Duty Free at one of the airports just as I was starting my trip. So I wore this throughout my travels and every time I smell this, I now have the memory attached to, to that amazing trip from last year. So I'm enjoying this more and more as time goes on. Bleu de Chanel. The next one is from a pretty new house. This is the only one from the house that I've tried. It's really enjoyable, so I wanted to include it in this list. I'll be wearing it a lot this summer. It's very light and refreshing. It's from the house of Kieran NYC. It's called Sunday Brunch. Think of a carefree Sunday afternoon. You're having brunch, you're reading the paper, relaxing, maybe watching some top 10 summer fragrance videos on YouTube. And this just reminds you of that nice, relaxed, kind of summery vibe. It's citruses, it's Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey, Earl Grey is my favorite type of tea. And this just reminds me of drinking a cup of Earl Grey black uh, with a slice of lemon in it. It's invigorating, it's light, it's refreshing. Uh, performance on this is fairly average. It's quite a light scent. And for a scent that feels fairly thin and fresh and uh, invigorating, performance is okay. I got around six to seven hours, so it's not gonna last you all day, but if you just want something for a lovely relaxed Sunday afternoon, this one is gonna do the trick for you. The next one is from a house called Simimi, which is another new house to me. I discovered them recently at Essence in Milan. I sat down with the brand owner, I had a great chat. I tried the whole range of fragrances. I was very impressed with all of them. This was one of my favorites and I managed to come away from Milan with a bottle of this, which I'm so thankful for. I'll be wearing this a lot this summer. It's called Blanc Dana. The nose behind this one is Paolo Terenzi, so you know what kind of quality you're getting with this scent. And all of Samimi scents are based on prominent women throughout history. This one is based on the lady who invented the very first Mother's Day, so I love the concept behind Samimi's line. Quite different, quite innovative. In terms of the scent itself, this is a fruity floral. There's some herbal notes, there's some fruity notes, there's plum, there's fig, there's a gorgeous, refreshing, crisp, green apple accord. So it's quite a light scent, but I got reasonable performance out of this. Very refreshing to wear in the summer. It just pings off the skin. I really enjoy this and I can wear it no problem, but I did think perhaps it leans a little more feminine. But interestingly, yesterday I was introducing my, my dad to a few of the scents that I brought back from Italy and he smelled this one, he really enjoyed it and he felt that it was more of a masculine scent. So really interesting how different people ha have a different perception of scent. It's all subjective, isn't it, at the end of the day. Uh, but this is definitely a unisex fragrance. The bottle of this, as you can see, is gorgeous. The cap weighs a ton. Don't throw this at anybody. Uh, so this one is gonna look really nice on your shelf. Really impressed with discovering this house. And Blanc Dana from Simimi is a great one for the summer. The next one is from another house that I had the good fortune to really discover and explore and chat to the brand owners whilst I was in Milan. It's from Fragrance de Bois. This is a really heady, sensual, floral fragrance. Gorgeous for summer. It's called Ujon Intense. 
It's got some really nice fruity notes in here. Most prominently to me is pineapple, and it gives me kind of a creamy pina colada cocktail type of vibe. So this one conjures images of sitting on a white sandy beach, blue skies, blue sea, palm trees, enjoying a lovely refreshing cool cocktail. So a beach, uh, maybe a little more exotic than this one, but um, you know, you work with what you've got, don't you? Um, also in this one, we've got some creamy indolic white florals. There's jasmine, there's gardenia. Those florals seem to make this one a powerhouse in performance. This one just lasts and lasts, especially if you get it on clothes. It projects massively as well. Longevity is very good. It's composed of high quality materials. That does reflect in the price. This isn't a cheap fragrance at all. You can pick this up in Selfridges or on the Fragrance Dubois website. You can easily get samples of this. So if you can get in store or get samples, I urge you to try the line. But uh, Ujon Intense in particular is a great one for the summer. So from quite a high price fragrance, the next one is a much more affordable price point. This is from the house of Suskind. I've been trying to champion this house because I discovered them last year and I'm really impressed with their line. I think the cost of these fragrances is great. This one is one that I haven't talked about as much as some of the other ones, but it's a perfect one for summer. It's called Freshkind. In this, there's anise, grapefruit, violet melon, a lovely woody base. It's very smooth and sensual. It's got an edge to it that gives it a nice kind of gentlemanly masculine feel, although I do think it is actually uh, a unisex fragrance. Performance on this is fantastic. So projection is relatively soft, maybe half an arm's length. It is quite a refined, sophisticated fragrance, so it's not too loud and obnoxious. Longevity is fantastic. You're gonna get an easy eight to nine hours off this. One of the best things about it is the price. You can pick this up for around 43 euros from various places. I know you can definitely get it off Suskin's website, so I will leave a link to the websites in the description below this video so you can check this one out. But for 43 euros for a 30 ml bottle, this one is a great bargain. The next one is from the House of Galan. It will be no stranger to most people. It's one of the most popular masculine fragrances. It was originally released in 1965. This is the modern reformulation. It's a good one. It's called Habit Rouge. We've got citruses, florals, spices, leather. It opens nice and fresh with those masculine citrus notes. They quickly settle down and then it becomes this more robust, masculine, rugged fragrance, even a little bit animalic. It's timeless, just like Vetiver from Galan. And like that fragrance, this one packs a punch. It's got some good masculine attitude, which I really enjoy. This is a, a, a fantastic fragrance. Again, very affordable. For 100 mil, you can pick this one up for around 30 pounds. It's really a no-brainer. If you like masculine fragrances, if you like citrus fragrances, then uh, for the price, you should own Habit Rouge. The next fragrance is from the house of Parthums de Mali. I love the house. A lot of their fragrances are quite heavy, uh, perhaps a little bit heavy to wear in the summer. So I wanted to find a fragrance from the house that worked in slightly warmer temperatures. This one does that perfectly for me. It's Galloway. So this is a lighter, fresher option from Parfums de Mali. It's not as complex as some of their other offerings. We've got some citruses, pepper, florals, lovely warming amber in the base, which really anchors this fragrance. I get great performance. I get two to three hours projection. If not more than that, I get great longevity. This one easily lasts me all day. It's got a modern, confident, masculine feel. It zings off my skin. It works amazingly well in the summer, but to be honest, I could easily wear this all year round. It would work great as a signature scent, an office scent, day night scent. You get the picture. It's pretty versatile. I also enjoy Platforms de Miley's other fresher offering, which is Percival. But for me, this is the one that is my preference to wear in the summer, although I do love them both. I know Sedley is a new release and it's a, another fresher fragrance. I'm eager to try that. I haven't tried that one yet. Looking forward to it. But for now, right here on this beach for this summer, Galloway from Parfums de Mali is my number one fragrance because of its versatility, because of its masculine modern edge. It's just a joy to wear. I've not sprayed yet. Uh, it's evening time. I'm just about to go to a pub over there for my dinner. I haven't sprayed this evening since my shower. So go one on the wrist as well. I am now fragged up 
with Galloway. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for joining me in another stunning location. You know I love to get out and about for you. Let me know what you think of my 10 fragrance choices and let me know what your top three choices for summer are because if you mention ones I'm not familiar with, I'll definitely try and check them out. Thanks for watching everybody. Remember, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.